Okay, this is a presentation about vectors, and a vector is a movement of a particular distance in a particular direction. So it has two components, uh, direction and distance length. So, um, this vector here, it goes from point A to point B, and it's labelled as X, and then you'll also notice it's four units are long, and eight units up to get from A to B. So we can label this in three ways. We can call it AB with an arrow on the top indicating that it goes from A to B. We can call it X, just the single letter that we've labeled it with, or we can call it 4, 8. Now if we wanted the same thing going in the other direction from B to A, well we could call it B A with an arrow on the top, or we could call it minus X because it's going backwards down X, or we could call it minus 4 minus 8 because it would go 4 backwards and 8 down to get from B to A. Here's another vector. So there are three ways you can label this. You can call it B C from B to C, or you can call it Y or you can think about the number of units across and up or down. So this one, BC from B to C equals Y equals 14, 4 because it's 14 across and then, sorry, 14 minus 4 because it's 14 across and 4 down. 4 down is represented by minus 4. And again if we wanted to go backwards uh, from C to B, then that vector would be called CB. It would be minus Y, because it's Y backwards, and then instead of 14 minus 4, it would be minus 14 plus 4, representing 14 backwards and 4 up to get from C to B. Now don't mix vectors up with fractions. The 4, 8 and the 14 minus 4 are not fractions, so you can't simplify 4, 8 to a half. It's nothing to do with fractions. Just because it's got one number on top of the other doesn't make it a fraction. Okay, and then we've got another vector, AC. Now I've written AC equals AB plus BC because going from A to C, from A directly to C has the same effect as going from A to B first, AB, and then going from B to C. So AC has the same effect as AB plus BC because you start at A and end up at C. And in fact, well if you look at the numbers for that, AB is 4, 8, BC is 14 minus 4, and if you add those up you get 18, 4. And in fact 18, 4 is the direct vector that takes you from A to C. 18 across and 4 up. So adding the vectors for, or adding the numbers for vectors can give you the resultant vector, the, the direct vector that is the combination of all the vectors that you add up. Now when you add up vectors, again remember it's not like fractions, so you don't have to make the bottom number the same like you would with fractions. You just have to do top plus top, bottom plus bottom. Okay, so here is an exam question about vectors. It says, in triangle ABC, M is the midpoint of BC, so M here cuts line B C in half. AB equals S. So the vector that goes from A to B is called S. And the vector that goes from A to C is called T. AC equals T. Now that means uh, that if we want a vector that goes backwards from B to A, that would be minus S. So from A to B is S, from B to A would be minus S, 
from A to C is T. So if we wanted one that was from C back to A, that would be minus T. And then from B to C, well, we haven't got a direct vector uh, that represents that movement, but we can t do it in terms of uh, S and T, because if we want to get from B to C, what we can do is go from B to A first, and then from A to C. So B s going BC is the same as BA and then AC. Or in other words, BA vector plus AC vector equals BC. That takes you from B to C. So there are ways of getting from B to C. So here's the question. Find vector AM. So that's from A to M in terms of S and T. Give your answer in its simplest form. So first of all, I've started off by saying, well, going from A to M is the same as going from A to B first, and then going from B to M next. So AM equals AB plus BM. From A to M can be done by from A to B, and then from B to M next. Um, the reason I've done that is I'm trying to break it down more and more so that I can write it with just S's and T's because the question is to write the answer in terms of S and T. So, um, instead of BM I've written a half BC because from B to M is a half of from B to C. And we know that because it says in the question, M is the midpoint of BC. Well, why have I done that? And the answer is so that I can try and write it with S's and T's. Because we know that from A to B is called S. It's on the diagram there, and, and they've told us in the question. And as I talked about earlier, instead of BC, I can say, well, to get from B to C... I have to go backwards in S and then forwards along a T. So BC is minus S plus T. So instead of BC, I've written minus S plus T. So what I've got now is, uh, instead of uh, with A's, B's and C's, I've got it all in terms of S's and T's. So to go from A to M, I have to do an S and then half of minus S plus T. Having got it this far, I can just treat it like regular algebra and multiply the brackets out. So, so I've multiplied a half times minus s to give me minus a half s, and a half times t to give me a half t. So I've got am equals s plus minus a half s, which cancels out to minus, plus a half t. Again, treat it like algebra. I can simplify it. Um, and it all comes out to a half s plus a half t. A half s plus a half t. So what I'm saying is that to get from a to m, I have to do half an s, so that would take me up there, halfway along s, and then half a t, so half of t in, in, in the same direction. So you can see just from the diagram, it looks right. Half an s and half a t will take you from A to M, but it's the algebra that proves it. And then finally, I've tidied it up a bit by factorising it and saying that half S plus a half T is the same as a half of S plus T. So I've just taken the half on the outside. You'll probably get the full mark for half S plus half T, um, but uh, you have to simplify it from what you've got in the middle there because it does say give your answer in its simplest form so there will be some marks for tidying up the algebra but the important thing is that the final answer is in S's and T's because they've said in the question that you must find vector AM from A to M how to get there in terms of S's and T's